man's life for me. Hello and welcome to an update on the wheat farm. Uh, I came up with a way to make it twice as wide, aka fitting twice as many wheat on each row. How I did that was I placed water in the middle to hydrate this part of the soil and still keeping the water on the other side to hydrate the other side of the soil. And of course lighting to make it work. The circuitry and placement of dispensers are still the same. So let me show you an example. This is 250 blocks in total. So it's 125 in that direction and 125 in that direction. I also uh, have another design. It's uh, very much like this, but all you need is one source of water to harvest it. Uh, it's it's uh, really just a joke, it's not practical at all. Uh, it was a request from a viewer, so I thought I'd make it. So, let me show you how much wheat we get from this. So, that seems to be it. Uh, another flaw with this design is that this is one block higher and there's no flow here and in either direction it just flows straight down so the wheat ending up on the walkway uh, isn't harvested or it's harvested but it's not going to to the collection channels and you can't reach the farthest away soil so it's more difficult to replant uh, I still think the other design is more practical, but if this is what you want, uh, <laughs> I'm not one to argue, it's very, you get a lot, a lot, a lot of wheat. So let's check it out. I'm gonna stop recording and count up how much wheat we got and how much seeds we got. So I'll see you in a minute. So, it has been counted. We have one double chest and a little bit more, which equals 3750 wheat. Uh, the total capacity of this farm is 4000, but yeah, that's quite a big loss on, on the walkway. And this is the seats. And another double chest full. Didn't count how much that is, but yeah, quite a lot. <laughs> so yeah, uh, now it's time to show you the requested one water source harvest a bunch of wheat. I actually don't know how many wheat it is, but I'm gonna tell you in 3, 2, 1, 994 wheat. So I made this design uh, a lot smaller because of this. This is what you need to fill a 71 wide area with one bucket of water. So we are going to harvest this right away. And I just gotta add, this is in no way practical. The amount of time you would spend gathering the building blocks to make this versus the time you would need to uh, harvest and build <laughs> this thing is more <laughs> this is way more efficient i think this is also more efficient than this one because of the way it's easier to uh, to replant and it's faster to harvest you can have it automatically. This is unstable on in the time it takes to harvest everything. So this is absolutely my favorite. Then this. 
and this is not on my favorite list, but it, it's pretty cool actually. Oh, yeah, I forgot a piece of the wall, so let me build that and we're gonna harvest. So the wall is finished and let's place it. Hmm, well, if it looks kinda cool, that's a plus. It's gonna build a Christmas tree! Yay! <laughs> You should make these blocks out of glass also, and it would be like uh, it uh, creates a uh, yeah a Christmas tree or a pyramid of water. That would be kind of cool, actually. Yes, 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 yes. It does what it should. Now we'll need to remove this. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes to drain out. Oh, that's a billion years. Wow, and I don't think the water streams are going to work <laughs> until the water disperses. Well, you could put signs on this row, but I didn't. So, oh. yay, this is fun. So let's clear out our inventory. Remove the seeds. Don't need seeds. Let's see if there's any stray. Yes, a little bit. Oh, quite a bit actually. So uh, this is also uh, one less wide, it's seven in each direction. The, this design is eight, so this can uh, store more wheat. This is uh, smaller, it's four on each side, so it stores less wheat, but yes, the, the speed and the functionality just makes it so much better. So yeah, I hope you liked this video, and have a nice day! Yeah.